Hope you had a great weekend. Good Monday morning to you. I'm Susan Hendricks. And today for Richard Louie, here's what we're following. We go back to Bonnie now, who is here to explain why it was postponed. Hi, Bonnie. Well, we are definitely looking at some wet weather across Florida, uh, Susan, and you can see on our map that we are looking at some rain sweeping across West Palm Beach into Miami, and that rain is persisting. We're even looking at the chance of intensity to build for thunderstorms throughout the day, so there's no surprise there that the mission was scrubbed for now because of the showers and the low clouds across much of the Cape Canaveral area in Florida. Let's head up to the northeast where the weather is fantastic. We have beautiful weather right now for Boston, 50 degrees. The marathon underway just started. Can't ask for better weather than that. The sun is shining. Gorgeous in Chicago as well, 48 there. And as we head to the south, watch out for thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast. On the west coast, it's really not looking too bad at all this morning. We've got temperature of 52 in San Francisco. It is 59 in Los Angeles. And speaking of San Francisco, the rain is in the forecast, possibly a little bit today. You can see that rain to the north of the city dropping further south tonight. So you will see wet weather for Tuesday. Be prepared and watch out for some wet weather in Northern California as well, north of the Bay Area. Susan? As you said, some great weather for the runners there in Boston. Yeah, it really looks fantastic. All right. Thanks, Bonnie. Appreciate sure. it. The government says Toyota hid evidence about runaway cars for four months. Lawyers have started a fight to free an American student convicted of killing her roommate in Italy. The Boston Marathon just got underway, but believe it or not, the volcano in Iceland is keeping hundreds of hopefuls, hopefuls from arriving, from running. Raper Michael has more on that. They train all this time, and then they can't make it. Because, you know, for a marathon, you have to train constantly. Only there's a mascot there on the floor. That never gets old, watching that. We're glad to report. <laughs> because Wolfie's Wolfie is, okay, yes, it's very Wolfie funny. Wolfie is okay. Right. Raper, thank you. Listen to this one. One restaurant is serving up lion burgers. We're asking for lion burgers? <laughs> they were looking around for it. The owner says U.S. Fish and Wildlife recently stopped by just to make everything sure, make sure it was legal. Rafer. He says everything was in order since they get it from a supplier and it's not imported from another There's a country. lion meat supplier? Yes. That would be the follow I've Okay. There's never. a wait list, apparently. Rafer will not be having that. No. <laughs> not a fan. Will Wolfie. Well, Carrie Underwood made history last night at the Academy of Country Music Awards. She is the first woman ever to win Entertainer of the Year twice. Plans for a potential military strike on Iran's nuclear sites. That is from an Obama administration official. The change has been underway, reportedly for several weeks. There is a concern President Obama needs more options if he orders such a strike. The U.S. and our allies believe Iran is developing nuclear weapons, which Iran, by the way, is denying. There is a new controversy in the Casey Anthony murder case. See what a block. Just cruising along on the lawnmower. All right, it is Monday. A lot of people traveling today. We want to get you updated on how it looks for you in terms of delays. We go right to Bonnie Schneider, who's checking it out for us. Hey, Bonnie. Hi, Susan. We are looking at some delays across the south due to thunderstorms, so watch out for that. If you are headed to the airport, uh, you're not alone. A lot of travelers. Folks there, when it rains, they just put on garbage bags over their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice today, though. Bonnie, thanks. Sure. Well, the Florida girl rescued after four days in the swamp, remember her? She is still recovering in the hospital now. Bye. Those were the headlines on this Monday. We welcome you back. Hope you're having a great one so far. I'm Susan Hendricks, and today for Richard Louie. A well-traveled cat. All right, we're checking your forecast today on this Monday. How's it looking for you? Florida is the hot spot. Miami, some wet weather there. Let's go to meteorologist Bonnie Schneider. Rest the details for us. Hey, Bonnie. Hi. We are looking at some wet weather across Florida. You can see on the map that plenty of rain through West Palm Beach, down through Miami. A lot of thunderstorm activity that scrubbed that shuttle landing not once but twice. And now the rain is pushing offshore, but it's still very cloudy and overcast. And those thunderstorms can erupt any time as we go through the day. World, Susan. Yeah, Bonnie, that is the big story today. We're also talking about it here in the U.S. And if you think you're not affected by the ash cloud, think again. From airfares to package... Show on TV or post a comment on my Facebook page, Rochelle Carey, HLN. It's on a Chuck's page as well. We're going to talk about this. And the president talked about just, uh, he talked about saying that the, the debate is good, but he also talked about being responsible for your words as well. And then some of you may not like the words that he put out there. So we want to talk about this on every level. And he had a good point about technology. Oh, yeah, technology can be really good or really 
uh, insidious as well. Yeah, we're hoping our viewers use it today with Facebook. Use it wisely. <laughs> Michelle, thank you. <laughs> well, you've seen police dash cam videos, but you probably have not seen this yet. Here's an inspiring story for you. The award for America's top amateur athlete recently went to a woman missing her left leg. Rafer is here with this great story. Hi, Rafer. Hey, good morning, uh, good morning Susan. Please. And it's amazing. This is actually to believe to be the first. See out there in sports? It's amazing. Love him. And the karma will hopefully come back yes, for him. Yes, it will. All right, Rafer, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, hundreds gathered to remember one of the country's worst natural disasters. Soldiers who were supposed to be back from Iraq last week may finally arrive in the U.S. tonight. That trip home was postponed. We're talking money. Are you considering buying a new electric car? Well, HLN money expert Clark Howard has the scoop on a new wave of electric cars and how it may even change his ways. Here he is.